I've started up a nifty little application called SigWin, which is a Linux. Oh, SigWin is not Linux. It's a Linux-like interface. You know, we'll leave it at that. What I've done is I started SigWin there, and you can see it started up. And then I made a couple of uh, manipulations, and you can see I've pulled up the history. There's my last command. And I'm going to repeat for the benefit of you what I've done. <clears throat> Let's do some basic starting over. Uh, this puts me at the root by ls. It puts me at the core. Um, LL doesn't work, unfortunately. LS does. So I need to get into the SIG drive, which is going to open up my hard drives here on my computer. You can see I've got six hard drives here uh, partitioned. So let's go back to my SIG win and to my X term. There it is. Now <clears throat> change directory, CD into SIG drive. That works. I just tabbed to autocomplete, which is very nice. Uh, CD SIG drive. Now I'm in SIG drive LS to list the directories. Now I'm going to CD into C. I hope that works. Looks like it does. All right, now I'm in my C drive. And let's start digging around a little bit. I'm looking for, probably in Windows, LS, oh boy. Uh, what am I looking for? I'm looking for user, probably. CD users, let's see if user pops up. No, CDU doesn't work, so CD drivers, let's go back. Uh, no such file. Interesting. I can't dot dot back. Um, hmm. Let's see if that'll work. Last directory. No. How about going back out? All right. Now I'm on back on the desktop. LS. Hmm. Uh, let's CD again. No. That takes me to the desktop. Let's go to the root. LS CD SIG drive. And ls again, cd to c, ls. Uh, what am I looking for? I'm looking for my documents and settings, cd documents and settings, ls, um, cd default user, ls. That should do it, cd desktop. LS, LS, saying nothing in the default user, so let's go back, oh, how am I going to do that, CD, let's see if I can just copy paste this, uh, copy, there's no click, let's see if the center click works, oh, it does, very nice, it just center clicked on my mouse roller. All right, uh, no such file directory. Control A takes me all the way back to the beginning. Let's see if that works. Didn't work. Uh, okay, CD SIG drive doesn't allow me to do that either. Okay, there's some differences <coughs> in the, oh, CD does, CD dot dot does work. Why didn't it work up here? Why did it not work up here? But CD period period just brought me back. LS, now I can look at CD. Um, I'm still on the default user, LS. All right, dot dot again. LS, CD all users, LS. Uh, I'm looking for CD desktop, LS, SIGWIN, MAXTOR, OneTouch. It's not showing me, let's see, LSAL, AL. Interesting, it's not showing me 
what's on my desktop, which is quite a bit. It's coming up with the Mac Store, and it's coming up with the SigWin link, which is not <clears throat> the same, because I'm looking for these PPT and these test questions. So, in the interest of speed, uh, I'm going to take all of it and drop it right on to, I'm going to take test questions and drop it right into my C drive. Bad, I know, but I'm interested in, in getting this to work. So, go back to my X term. There it is. And now let's CD to the root. LS, I'm at the root. Oh, now I'm at the root. CD again. LS, CD slash. LS CD SIG drive. There it is. LS CD C. Oh, CD dot dot CD C. LS. And now I should have my test questions directory where there it is. CD test questions. LS. There they are. Okay, now I'm looking at all of the files. in this directory. Test questions. There they are. I'll feel, I'll rather, there it is. So, uh, quick, uh, relatively quick <clears throat> demonstration of SIGWIN and navigating through files and folders. In the next uh, tutorials, or the tutorials to come, we'll be working with um, Bash. Uh, my goal here is to do a search to make sure that all words are spelled correctly in all of my students' text files. How easy is that? Fairly easy, I hope. Thank you for watching, and go get yourself a copy of SIGWIN, and uh, relive the power of DOS and experience the joys of Linux. Thank you for watching, and happy screencasting.